Hello, my poplings. How's it going? I'm Graceful Snake. Please grab a cup of tea and let's have a chat. Here's a new welcome to my channel video. I'll be explaining a few things and answering some get to know me questions. So to go straight into my old channel name, it was The Snake Girl. I changed it because I decided that if I wanted to ever be consistent or dedicated to YouTube, when I'm older, I wouldn't want the snake girl to be my name. By then, I would have a fan base, and it would be a lot more difficult to change my name. Now, because I haven't been active or made good content, I don't have a fan base, which makes it much easier to change now. Graceful snake is kind of a play on words. I still wanted snake to be incorporated into my name, but I also wanted to discreetly put my real name in the title of my channel. Graceful Snake is from my name, Grace, and Snake is my persona or my mascot. Now you know the reasoning behind my channel name, but what about Poplings? Well, when I first made my channel, I wanted a name for my fan base. Even if I don't have one, I wanted the name to mean a group of snakes. So that's exactly what I googled. However, all that came up for snakes were words like den, not, pit, etc, etc. I wanted something cuter. So I googled a group of ball pythons. Nothing really came up. I changed my wording and searched on many sites. I had to be pleased. I remember finding a Wikipedia article saying that a group of ball pythons can be called a pop. But after researching, for the sake of this video, I could only find some website, some person on some website saying that it can be called a pop. It may not be true. But at the time, I decided that that's what I wanted to use. So I took the term pop and added lings like you would to ducklings. I thought it was very cute. I realized in the last video I posted, I made a lot of promises I couldn't keep. I said that I would try my best to upload regularly, and well, that may not be a promise, I did say that I would try. And I talked about all these different videos lined up that I really look back on the footage and don't want to use. The old videos that I made, I am not proud of, I don't like the art that I made, and I don't like the way that I spoke in them. In fact, most of my videos, my new videos, will probably be very different than before. I want to add some entertaining content to my art, so that the words I'm saying are actually fun and interesting to listen to, and not just a rant like my old videos. So I won't promise to update every week, but if I ever have time and footage, I'll make a video. Before I get into the questions, I'd like to apologize for how nasally my voice sounds right now, and for any white noise that might be in the background. Let's stop apologizing, and let's get into the questions. Question number one. Do you have a snake? Yes, I do have a snake. In 2011, on Christmas morning, I opened up a present to find a tiny little ball python inside a big tank. I was 11 at the time and named her Anna. She's been my pal since then, and she'll be by my side till she dies. <laughs> wow, that sounds morbid. I don't mean, like, I'm gonna kill her. I just... <laughs> she has a long lifespan, and I'm... But I have a long... You know what? Let's get on with the questions. <laughs> Question number two. What made you like snakes? My brother, actually, he got his first snake for his 13th birthday. And from then on, I always loved and wanted them. I was about nine when he got it, so that's when my fondness for snakes started. Question number three. How long have you done art? Aha! An art-related question. Of course, because I'm the one who wrote these questions. <laughs> I've been drawing my whole life, like most kids, but I started practicing and trying to get better when I was around 13, maybe at the end of 12, I'm not sure. That would mean that I've been drawing for about four years now. Question number four. What made you want to draw digital art? I got Instagram and went on YouTube when I was around 13, 14. 
I saw speed paints and people's art on Instagram and decided I wanted to do that too. So I got my tablet in 2015. Question number five. What tablet do you use? I use a Wacom. Yes, yes. I know I say it wrong. <laughs> I use a Wacom into his art. It's a really good starter tablet, but if I ever get consistent commissions and make good money off my art, I would save up for a Cintiq or a Hueon alternative. They're just... Uh, <laughs> they're so beautiful and amazing. And like, to be able to draw on the screen and draw in real life, like, girl, girl, like, boy, I, I understand that you can do that like on your phone, but for it to be precise and have pressure sensitivity and just <gasps> all these, I'm sorry, I'm sorry getting way too into it. I really want a Cintiq. <laughs> one day, one day I'll be able to justify spending a thousand dollars on a tablet. Question number six. What other activities do you like to do? I like to play my violin. I've only been learning for a short time. About, uh, I'd say eight or nine months. I also like to attempt to play video games. I'm pretty bad at them, but, but at least I can be trash at League, so <laughs> hit me up if you ever want to see me fail at gaming. Question number seven. What grade are you in? I'm in my senior year of high school. It's pretty cool. Question number eight. Are you homeschooled? I know not many people would actually ask this, but, well, I'm the one who's asking the questions. <laughs> However... I thought I should write it down because I am homeschooled. I started homeschooling after I finished first grade. I've been a part of two homeschool groups and oh so many co-ops, if you know what those are. <laughs> if any of you guys have homeschooling questions, I would love for you to ask them down below and I'll get to them in another video. I think it would be really fun and I kind of have like an idea to talk about homeschooling like a very like informative homeschooling video so if you guys have any questions that would be an amazing contribution to the video and i would very much appreciate it if you have any questions on anything i would love for you to ask or any suggestions i would love to interact with my audience so if you ever feel like just typing down below please type down below <laughs> question number nine tea or coffee both. I drink coffee in the morning. It's not really the caffeine I like, but I just, uh, I love the taste so much. It's just good. It's good. It's good. Also, like, when you wake up, when you wake up and you have, like, a nice warm cup of coffee to drink in the morning, it's very comforting. Like, you can read a book, or if you're religious, you can, like, read your Bible, or you can, like, look at Canvas and see if your teacher's canceled class today. Like, you know, there's lots of things you could do with coffee. <laughs> um, you can also, like, have an iced coffee later in the day. I don't like hot coffee in the later in the day. In the later in the day. I don't like hot coffee later in the day unless it's, like, really cold. But I also really like tea. Tea is amazing in the evening or when I just need to calm down and study or do some work or I am really into this drawing but I can't focus so I'll make some nice tea. I definitely go for an English breakfast. Black tea is one of my favorite kinds of tea and I think that English breakfast is very homey and comforting and traditional. However, if I'm looking for something with a bit more flavor and I'm kind of looking for some tea that will, like, give me a bit of an energy boost and keep me calm, like, if I need to type out an essay but I still need to be, like, relaxed while I'm typing it, you know, like, my voice in this video is relaxed. I go for, sorry, I go for, like, a spice chai or, like, a chai latte or even an herb tea, but my family often doesn't get herb teas unless it's, like, chamomile for sleeping or, like, dandelion. Dandelion tea. I've never had dandelion tea. You know, 
If you've ever had dandelion tea, what does it taste like? I have the opportunity to taste it right now, but I'm, like, scared that it's just gonna taste like water. Like, it's not gonna taste like anything. And if it does, it's gonna taste like the dirt that the dandelion came out of. Like, what? Question number 10. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Right now, I'm oh so very much into like muted pastels gray toned soft blue um and pink as well i've hated pink for a really long time but lately it's you know gray toned pink i don't like bright pink those are right up my alley right now and i honestly hope that i like those colors for a long time because i want my life centered around those colors they're relaxing and pleasing to the eye they work amazingly on the color wheel and i just very much appreciate that those colors exist these are all the questions i can think of for this video i really hope that you enjoyed my content and liked the changes i'll try my best to post again sometime soon but i think my next video might just end up being my dogs at the beach i'll kind of be doing everything art related i'll film when i go out to cool places and edit it all nice for ya i'll continue doing art videos of course that's the reason i wanted to make this channel i um also have a lot of crazy stories so be prepared for that as well i don't think i'm gonna do like animated story time videos because that takes so long and so much dedication i don't understand how these animators just put so much dedication into into their videos by doing that taking the time out of their lives to just any, anyway i don't have time for that so what i would be doing is drawing one two or three drawings that will they'll be very simple and probably kind of childish but little simple drawings that will go along with the story that i'm telling i hope you've enjoyed how far my art will come and i hope that you will continue in to enjoy for now my little poplings i hope that you thoroughly enjoy this i hope that you will come back for more subscribe like this video every time you like this video it gets more it gets small it gets more <laughs> I said it twice. <laughs> it will be shared more often. Make sure to comment down below any ideas or questions or anything like that. Um, follow me on all my social media, which is literally just Instagram because <laughs> I don't have more than one social media. I'm lonely, okay? Follow me on my social media, which is just Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a lovely day or evening or morning or slumber, my poplings, and I will see you next time. Then I hear it, like I'll record it and I'll edit it and then I'll hear it and I'll be like, this is trash, like legit trash. And then I delete it and I'm like, ha ha, ha ha, we, we don't need to see that ever again. And then I delete it from the world. Like I delete it twice because yeah, you get the memo. <laughs>